Watkins Glen native Olivia Coffey is going for gold this year in Tokyo, representing the United States and the Southern Tier at the Olympic Games. Tara Lynch of our sister station in Elmira spoke with Coffey about some new changes to Olympic rowing, making it fair for men and women on the water. From Burdette to Tokyo, Olivia Coffey has waited for this moment for the past 10 years. After leaving the area for school, she returned in 2020 amid a global pandemic to train in her home community. I was in Watkins Glen. I was lifting with a local teacher. I was rowing on the inlet. I was basically training on my own. Her dad, a former silver medalist in the Montreal Games in the men's pair. So competition runs deep in her family. But sometimes like would be like competing and stuff. I'd be like, yeah, dad, like look what I did and be like, well, when you won an Olympic silver medal, then you can talk to me. So I would love to like, I'd be like, I got a gold. Not only will she represent the Southern Tier on the international stage, she will also represent female athletes during a time when women are fighting for equity in sports. When you kind of step back and you look at like the national media coverage, you realize how far behind women's athletics are. Uh, that's something I struggled with playing ice hockey. I was kind of always like, well, why can't I check, which is not allowed in women's hockey, but men are allowed to check. And that was something that I, it really, always really bugged me. While some contact sports have different rules for men and women, the water provides an equal playing field. 2,000 meters as fast as you can go. Now the Olympic Games this year are adding more races for women in crew, something that Coffee wished for back in 2016 in Rio when she was an alternate. 2021 will be the first Olympics that men and women have equal opportunity in rowing. So what they've done is they've uh, they've changed some of the events around so men and women can have equal numbers. And that's, uh, I mean, it's really encouraging to see because as an alternate in 2016, if they had had equal opportunity for women, I may, might have been able to go. Her Southern Tier roots still hold strong as she prepares for the biggest race of her career. If I do well there, that's, you know, the community gets a piece of that too. And, I'm, and I hope that they enjoy it as much as I do. The U.S. Women's Aid is going for their fourth straight Olympic gold. And the races begin July 24th on NBC. For 18 News, I'm Tara Lynch. From